And let's turn this out there. When cops have to arrest their friends. Cops are usually dealing with people and criminals they've never seen before. But what happens when instead it's their own friends uh -oh. that they have to arrest? Hey, He's running! Get the gear! Kevin! Did they Stay out of this, Kevin! Here are three <laughs> examples of this happening, starting with the case of Buck Preston. Buck? What? You know, oh, you ain't God got, damn, Michael. You, know, you ain't got a driver's license. <laughs> Don't get it, please. I got to. Man, God damn, oh, Michael. Oh, yikes. I got to. No, 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 listen to me. No. Please, just listen Sheriff to me. Sheriff sent me. The no, sheriff, sheriff, captain. I mean, they've seen you driving. We gotta get you. One of the cons to small town living is that everybody knows each other. Yo, it would suck so much like your friend is a cop harassing you, bro. Cause like you'll feel like you can get out of it. You know what I mean? But they gotta do the job, bro. Nah, screw that, man. Including the cops, the town sheriff claims to have seen Buck driving his Chevy pickup. Okay. But nearly every cop in town knows he doesn't have his license. So what else is there for Buck to do to try and explain his How way out of it? How's the town? I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm just trying to tell you something. Listen, if you listen, listen to me. You're telling me every single cop knows he don't have a license? Like they know him? And he's still driving everywhere. Anyway, what a mad man. The, the person that was driving this truck just jumped out of the fucking uh, <laughs> uh, uh, right late morality and goddamn, I had no other way to get it here, buddy. I swear to God, I would, I'm not going to drive it no more. I you promise you. No, I got to. God damn, Michael, I please. 31 to 28. You 51 this way? That's crazy, oh, bro. Oh, I just passed it. You I just passed him? Yeah, on seat. And he didn't turn around? No, he didn't. I swear to God, he didn't. Michael, I, I just swear to God, if you, if you listen to me, bro, I swear to God. I'm about to right now. Sure. No, the thing is, like, you're trying to get out of it, but you're lying to your friend. Like, your friend is going to know if you're lying, you know what I'm saying? He's saying some guy just jumped out of the car and didn't done a run and he wasn't driving. In a small time, a, a town, everybody knows everyone. Yo, that's crazy, though. Like, no cop knows me. You know what I mean? No cop. Stating someone jumped out behind the wheel. Yeah, and I'm trying to get my truck home. That's it. But. Bro, I swear you to got, God, You can't bro. get a driver's license in the state of Florida, dude. That's how bad it is. Buck's story <laughs> is that his friend was driving his truck, but ditched him out near a lake, leaving what? him with no option but to drive back home himself. Unfortunately for Buck, though, we are in the 21st century, and the officer reminds him he could have just called someone with a license to drive him back, and that he still True. broke the law regardless of the circumstances. Predictably, Buck wasn't very happy about this. Buck, come on! Man, you still can't drive, bro. Pull it off the road and wait for someone who has a valid license. What? Let's go. That's wait, they're gonna arrest him? Would you tell him? Let, let's no. say that, uh, let's no, go, no, Buck. What? Buck, I'm not playing this game. What do you mean? I'm, I'm trying. I'm telling uh -oh. you the truth. Nobody jumped out. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling Oh, I'm not. Ain't nobody jumped out, Buck. Ain't nobody jumped out, Buck. Yo, imagine being chased by your friend, bro. Like, imagine. Oh, yo, yo, yo. When they let go for, like, drinks and stuff, bro, you can never live that down, you know what I'm saying? Kevin, did they stay not? Stay out of this, Kevin! Did they not? Kevin, back off. Kevin, you stay out of this. Did they not jump out? Okay. It's Kevin! God damn, Man. dude! I'm, I'm telling you! respect when you go rough for me like God that! Damn, I'm... Get up! Despite the chase not lasting very long at all, <laughs> all this did was add an extra charge to Buck's already Yo. fairly long list. And given how close everyone seems to be here, you just know this police chase is going to be the talk of the town. Yep. Part of the struggle on the ground had to be cut, but the cops reported that Buck resisted so hard that they had to deploy a taser to make him calm down. The taser did as well! The footage returns when Buck was fully restrained and handcuffed. Buck was taken to the officer's patrol vehicle and driven back to the station. Obviously angry, he decided to make the conversation on the way back personal. Uh, I don't talk to you about your mom in this. this is, I don't give a fuck if you talk to me about your mom or not. Leave my family out of this dog. All I'm saying is this. Would she be proud of you for sticking that fucking taser to me when I was not even resisting when you got Mod. It? You're resisting. What the fuck out? What you had me? Yeah, that's why we had each other in headlocks. Whatever. I need to be in headlocks. Stop bringing my mom into it. That car real proud too, huh? Yo, I'd feel so weird in this situation, bro. Like your cop friend arresting you. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm trying to imagine now, like Simsy arresting me. Like, bro, I just can't imagine it. 
I just, oh, that'd be so weird. There's little information about what happened to Buck after this video, but it's likely he was charged with driving without a license and resisting arrest. Why do There's an argument license? that Buck could also be hit with fleeing to elude an officer, but this is a felony that comes with a five-year prison sentence. It's more likely the officer gave his friend... Wait, 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 if you run away from the cops, it's five years in prison? If you try and run away? Ah, oh, buck. Ah, oh, buck. Comes with a five-year prison sentence. It's more likely the officer gave his friend the misdemeanor charge worth just a couple months in jail. Okay. It's unlikely the suspects in this next case got the same treatments, though, as it wasn't just a civilian caught breaking the law, but also their cop friend. Hello. How you doing? Uh, reason I stopped you is your right brake light is out. Who do you work for? So did you stop me because my right brake light is out? Yeah. Or did you stop me to ask me who I work for? Well, I'm asking you both. DCS. <laughs> what? DCS. DCS. What's DCS? DC Comics. Department of Children's Services. As he mentioned, the suspect named Petra Edgerton was originally pulled over for a broken brake light, but the officer quickly noticed something else. A Wait, police a badge around Petra's neck. Oh, she's a cop? Firstly, this cop doesn't recognize the supposed officer, but it's also unusual to see a police officer driving around in a broken car. Something feels off. So the cop decides to investigate further. Is your license then? Do you have your badge on you? Like your ID badge? ID badge for? Being a police officer. See, this is what conflicts you're asking me all those questions. Right. Saying, stop my right brake light. So, if you're a police officer, you understand what probable cause is, right? So, what's the probable cause? Your right brake light's out. My right brake light wasn't out. It was probably out of the gas station. Yeah, it is. It's out right now. The car wasn't even on me. It doesn't matter. You're driving with a brake light out on the streets, so it's an equipment violation. I saw it when you were pulling out. At this point, the brake light issue is the least of the cops' worries. It's difficult to classify what exactly an off-duty officer is supposed to act like, but something about Pectra is... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They don't seem like a cop. So why on earth do they have a cop thing around the net, bro? What is going on? triggering alarm bells for the cop. She's acting defensive, being closed off, and giving strange, vague answers to questions that a real cop would be able to answer. So it's time to quit the games and figure out exactly what's going on here. Look, long story short, I just want to know who you work for. And, and that's the issue. Why do you want to know who I work for? Because I've never seen you around here before. You're not a police officer that works here. You don't know who I am. That's you right. You've never seen me. <laughs> right. So, are you a police officer or are you not a police officer? So, because a black person walks into a store with a badge and a gun, it's an issue. That has but nothing to do with you being black. Are you a police officer or you're not a police officer? Not a police officer. You're not a police officer? No. Why do you? So why would you go into Quick Trip and get free food with your badge and gun? Because. Wait, you can get free food with a badge? Wait, you get free food? Wait, how do I get a badge? Wait, wait, how do you get a badge? <laughs> no, yo, she's obviously just getting farming free food, bro. What? I didn't know you could get free food. She's going around pretending she's a cop. I'm an officer. You don't have to be a police officer to go in there. I've been doing it for three years. So you're not a you're not, not a certified not, police officer. It's not probable cause. It's a personal thing. There are a dozen ways for a cop to prove that they work for a certain agency. For example, she could give the name of her department and supervisor and have the cop check the names with them. This would only take a couple minutes and any real cop would know this. So the fact that she's getting defensive instead and turning this into a personal thing is a huge red flag. It's oh, she's messed up, bro. She's messed up. Using that badge to get free food, she's messed up. Wait, military is the same way they get discussed. Yeah, that's cool, that is. Until, you know, people are trying to do what she's doing right now. <laughs> also clear that Petra doesn't seem to realize what she actually did wrong. Just minutes earlier, she was seen inside the store presenting her badge and gun to the cashier My. and walking out with free food. My. This isn't just cop impersonation, it's theft. So the cop needs True. to get to the bottom of this. Did I steal from the Are you a, Yeah, if you're not a police officer. I did not steal from the I went up to the register, 
spoke to the guy that works there and told him I had his drink. So you're presenting yourself as a police officer with your badge <laughs> and your gun on the side. Okay. Do you understand that? I do understand that. But my issue with you is, you seen that. You say because you've never seen me before. So who do you work for? Who do you work for? Who is DCS? She's doing my head. How long have you been working? 12 years, 13 years. How do you not know what DCS is? There's, like I said, is it Department of Children's Services? What is it? Explain it to me. I don't, I don't have to explain myself to you. If you're gonna give me a ticket, tell like you give me a ticket. Okay. You see your license? Since he's getting nothing out of Pectra, the cop decides to call up DCS himself, and his suspicions get instantly confirmed. Who's your supervisor? What do they have to do with my brain? What it has to do with is you've told me you're a police officer or you're an officer for DCS. I've got DCS on the phone. They say you don't work there. So who's your supervisor? <laughs> it seems that the suspect knows at least something about policing as she chooses to remain silent from now on. You know what? I wouldn't be a police officer, right? I couldn't. I don't have the patience, bro. Like, you know, she is just chatting so much right now. Like, I would just be like, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Give me the badge. You're under arrest. You know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So the cop turns his attention to the passenger of this vehicle, who passenger? at this point hasn't said a word. When he asks for her ID, he gets a huge surprise. I have one of your employees here, Brandy Green. Um, she was with her friend, Petra Edgerton. Brandy decided that she was going to give Petra her badge and her gun to go into Quick Trip and get some food. So I pulled them over for a broken tail light. Petra was driving. She had the badge on and the gun on. When I pulled them over, she identified herself as a DCS officer and then later admitted to not being a DCS officer. And your employee, Brandy Green, admitted to giving her the gun and the badge to go into Quick Trip oh. to get the free food. After investigating just a little further, both Pectra and the actual cop, Brandy Green, admit to everything. Yo, so he's the, the passenger's the cop, gave her friend, the friend, the badge and the gun to get the free food. Why would he not just go in? Could, could he not be bothered? Oh, uh, technically, she's not really like robbing it then. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think in a lot of situations, some people might do that. You know, if I'm a cop and I'm like, yo, I'm doing something right now. I can't bother going in the, so like, in the store. Like, you just go quick. So I don't think that's that. I don't think that's as bad. Do you know what I'm saying? Following the incident, a cop Brandy right resigned from her job at the DCS, and Pectra is facing felony charges for impersonation, oh, carrying mind. a sentence of up to five years in prison. Oh, that was not worth it, bro. Yo, that was not that was not worth it, bro. That was not worth it, bro. He lost his job and she's in prison five years. Yo. <laughs> There's many That's more examples of these cops that seem to just forget they also need to follow the rules, That's just like it. Corporal Scott Bertzik did on New Year's Day 2021. When Officer Brooke Shutterly arrived at the scene of a car crash, she realized it wasn't just her supervisor at the wheel, but a good friend of hers. So, uh... Reached out for my lighter, slammed and nipped his ass. Cool. Yeah, not really. Not really. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Your car's fucked up. No, absolutely. Which I just fucking fixed. Obviously, Brooke and Scott are familiar with each other, and curiously, Scott holds nothing back when describing exactly how the incident went down. Yeah, fair enough. It's clear that Scott is the one at fault here, so before going any further, Brooke decides to call back to the base to ask whether or not it's okay for her to be handling this incident. This crash, um, Birdie, is so come work it. Okay. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've worked a crash with one of us in it, so... No, he's not on duty. He's in his POV. I just didn't want there to be any, like, conflict of interest type issues. Oh, wait! He's a cop as well! As her! Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Alright, that was it. I just wanted to make sure. Yay, right, bye. <sighs> Damn it, birdie. Brooke is given the go-ahead and told that there should be no issues with her handling this case, but that was before she noticed this. You good? 
Get on his way. Huh? Wait on his way. He's not coming. Black okay. Good. Walking home, but yep, I'm good. So, Birdie, you, you giving me on? some indicators? Oh. Listen, listen. Shit, woman. Listen, <laughs> Valdez is coming out just to. I'm not gonna lie to you about it. What is going on? Yeah, she's on her way. I'm not really comfortable with this whole thing at all, but I'm not gonna lie to you about it. Oh no, I, I, I don't mean to put you in that indie. Yep. From now on, you know how it goes. You can't consume anything, okay? Because right now you, you're being detained. Wait, what? It's obvious that Scott is under the influence of right. something, yeah. judging by his slurred speech, slowed yeah. reactions, and slight loss of motor control. Brooke is fairly sure he's been drinking. At this point, Scott is no longer her supervisor. He's just a suspect in a case, and what's more, Yikes. he's drunk and likely unpredictable, a combination which can be incredibly threatening to a female officer. Please don't make my life difficult. I would never do that to you. Okay, I, I'm very uncomfortable right now. Yo, yeah, I can't imagine that, bro. Like, yo. Like, cops arresting cops that you work on the same... Like, you know what I mean? Bro, that would be so weird. Yeah, that's just awkward. That's just awkward, man. And, and I apologize for putting you in that position. Are you on? Yes. Yes, I am. And I'm going to remain on. Or... Why? Was it what? Was he going to smack her up? <laughs> Why would he ask, are you on? Like, on camera. What, was he going to do a runner or some shit? Integrity. You know you can't smoke right now. What? Because if I'm going to do a DUI investigation, it impedes it, so you can't consume anything. I want to get that dog. <laughs> Fear aggression issue. You can always train a dog. Yeah. You can't consume anything. You're killing me. Giant. <laughs> After a short wait, another officer arrives at the scene, meaning they can finally start getting to the bottom of all of this with some sobriety tests. These lasted over 10 minutes, but it's not hard to tell how they went by just looking at a few seconds of them. Right. You may begin the test. One, oh my two, god. Oh, stop the test. Jesus! Three, Jesus! <laughs> Yeah, you passed, mate. You passed. Judging by this Good and job. the overwhelming amounts of evidence against him at this point, the officers thought it was safe to conclude that Scott had been drinking that night and decided it was time to put him in cuffs. Something he was far from happy about. What do you lose things that we can do to fix this, but... But yeah, chat, you know if a cop gets arrested, will you lose your job? Or does it just, like, depend, like, how bad, like, what, what, what happened? Yeah, yeah, what, like, he will lose his job right now. He's gone, like, completely. Bro. Well, he is drink driving, that's dumb, so. Yeah, fucking everything. Yikes. It's got the hinge locks. Okay. Because it go? Yeah. Despite Scott being one oh, of the most depends. polite and respectful suspects ever on this channel, he was actually hit with a better sentence than the majority of criminal cops. After blowing a .156 back at the station, he was charged with driving under the influence and damaging property. Okay. He was ordered to pay just under $1,000 in fines, okay. serve 50 hours of community service, and take multiple substance abuse and DUI classes, and had his driver's license suspended for six oh, wow. months. He was also sued by the driver of the vehicle he hit, and a okay. cash settlement was reached. And on top of all of that, he also was suspended without pay for a week and given a last chance agreement, meaning one more slip up and he was out for good. Oh, August. interesting. Cops are interesting. So, okay. So he was suspended for a week and then he was on like a final warning. They let him stay after drink driving. Yo, no, nah, but to be fair, he got hit with a lot, bro. He got hit with a lot to the point where, like, he probably won't do that again. You know what I'm saying?